<laughs> oh my god. He who runs the court happens to be Von Karma. <clears throat> yeah. December 26, 11.09 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. It's worth. What's going on here? You think the prints were on the murder weapon? Uh, um. <laughs> and that foggy photo. I think it makes it clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. Wait! If it was shot from the right yeah, hand, it... then why does it look like that the person is shooting from his left? We'll get into that a little later. Yeah. That was... that's weird. Okay. Yes. It was... What? So when it's shot, he just ended up picking him up. Shoot him. But, and I then think. who did? I... I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot fire from very close by. And the other man fell out from the boat. I can't see why. But... I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say, Maya? Huh? Wh what? Any progress with Mia? Oh! Sorry! It's no good. Hey, Jeff, what's up? Uh, <laughs> oh, I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? We didn't say that. You're good for something. Scaffing our burgers. If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're useless. Oh, my God. Do you have the options? No, I need you here. Of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. Yeah, poor Maya. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Uh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. Hard on herself. Yeah, I know, right? It's like someone else I know. But you never guess. You never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Whoa, right? Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, 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 sorry. Oops. Okay, here we are. Court is back in session. <laughs> Mr. Von Garber? Back to ten minutes. Call your witness. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Miss Lotta Hurt. Well, Miss Lotta Hurt. Take the stay. <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> Lotta Hurt. You're a research student at the uh, university. That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? <sighs> Y'all need to learn some manners! Understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well. <laughs> Your testimony, please. Witnesses account. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> it was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but that boat. Enough. Huh? Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo. 
except there's evidence. Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Uh -huh. Order! I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake and she heard the gun was shot. There are no other boats on that lake. So, the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes. It was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order! 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 I will have order! <laughs> well, Judge? The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well. This court finds the defendant. Uh-uh. Not so fast. Wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. Cross-examination. <laughs> I have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words. And they all read guilty. You lose. Or do you claim that I found a contradiction in her testimony? Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then, I will hold, have you held in contempt of course. Uh, Nick? Content? Content of course, you know? I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? I think there was. I... I think I noticed one little thing. Wow! I'm impressed, Nick! I didn't notice anything! Right! Let's take him in! Yeah. I got a bad feeling about this. So, I mean, if you're curious about what contempt of court is, it just means, like, breaching the rules of the court. That's all, you know? Yeah, I so, think most people are really... Like, if you yeah. take your powers too far by breaking the rules, you'll be thrown out until, like... Actually, you're thrown in jail for that. Yeah. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. <laughs> Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. Hmm. <laughs> Try without a crimes examination? Bless me! Hold it. Just after midnight, you say. You In other words, it is no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Hey Zelda, what's up? You can't do a barrel roll. Not in the court <laughs> Excuse me. Although I'm sure <laughs> that's what she was doing right now. <clears throat> In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Uh, yeah, well, yes. When am I going to play Star Fox 64? I am actually going to be playing that come after Superman Galaxy's done. Now, I'm getting the green stars in that, so it shouldn't be too much longer. But it'll definitely be before the end of the year. I know you want to find contradictions, but really... Hmm. Why don't you just press on like our second one? I hope one? your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. If I'm playing our card of modern Greece, I'll be there. I won't forget this time? Uh, yeah, that's fine too. Uh, we're all actually doing wonderful. Uh, Colette's there, uh... Who's that? She was actually played last Monday. She might not play this come Monday because she has to work early the next morning. But maybe some... If we didn't have to get our son up for school, it all depends, too, in certain circumstances. Why are you camping in there, anyway? I'm a research student in my university. I was taking pictures 
to use in my research. Not research? This all sounds suspicious. suspicious. Press further. I mean, I'm gonna press further on this one. Miss her? Could you be more specific about your research? <laughs> what does the witness's motor in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of question. Objection sustained. Oh, wait now, I'm the one who says that. Well, say it already. Mm. Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. Huh. And hopefully you're doing well as well as I I know your brother's doing his stream as well for uh, Subathon. Very fun, that. I'm gonna present that. So, you weren't looking at the lake at that time? Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions. Not leisurely chat with a witness. I'm just trying to make a round since everyone is live too. I just try to be here when you're, you're off. Or when you're off, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Ah. Uh. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at that picture. Clear enough for you? I'm gonna press further on this one. So, uh -oh. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. <laughs> the witness has the witnesses testified she saw them. There's also a photo. You'd best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. You jumped it quick. He's hiding something. Then there was another bang. Today's my support and chill night. Supporting while I play some Animal Crossing. Came back into the scheme. I just said new fox. Lost my. Oh no, that sucks. Ah. Hates it when you lose data because then it's hard to get back. You were watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, Mr. Wright. Not meaningless babble. Like Karma? I think I hate you. <laughs> I think my whole chat hates him. <laughs> oh, He's an arsehole, all over right. 100 hours. That's, that's even worse. I can't keep me from talking to the witness. What end? Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. I'm still gonna press further because there's something more to this one. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hurst, you... Uh. Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. Uh. No need for further questions. Uh, Objections sustained. Suck a lemon, Kyra. Uh, that's what I'm... Sustained. Uh, yes, of course. Oh, great. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. But, Your Honor. You keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that I'll have to penalize further outbursts by holding you in contempt, of course. How many hours? Three, three thousand four hundred and five. Ouch! That's a lot of hours. I'm not gonna lie. And hopefully, you guys can also get uh, each other's uh, switch friend card as well. 
And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood. Uh, uh-huh. Nick! Lana's testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. Let's switch Frank out. I know what you mean. But I can't say anything. What can I do? I believe we cover the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. And pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Hold it! Uh, who was that? You knew that was you too. Uh-huh. It was me. Maya? There's something wrong. Do you need to use the facilities? No, I do not. Not a heart? Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Uh, Nada! Got her. Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Thanks for the look, Zelda. Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lana. What's the big idea? Treat me like some kind of criminal. I saw him. I swear it. I saw Edgeworth. Objection. <laughs> Enough. Hmm. Judge, declare the defense in contempt of course. Uh, yes, yes, of course. You sort of can't go to court as this when you can't get a word in of uh, Edgewires before the prosecutor interrupts you? So she, yeah, I know. Asshole, uh, man! Sorry, but you were warned. Good. Escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. No. No. the one who made your, the outburst your honor? Nick is innocent. Huh. What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Actually, wrong. wrong. Yeah. Wrong. What? Did you hear what Mrs. Hurt just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have written to cross-examine her again. Order! Order! Order, 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 order! You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. Hmm. Huh. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Carver, but I cannot. What? Miss Lederher has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But he is in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Hmm. Very well. Maya Faye, you will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. <laughs> you really bought Phoenix some time. Maya. <laughs> I'll cure not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witness. I'm running out of time. I better find a contradiction in here or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross examination. We're not going to press on anything in here at this point in time. Because I'll show you that last state. Okay, that last statement. Yeah, you just. It's our first day, the man of vote was Mr. Edgeworth. I don't have to press on this one. 
What? I won't have to press on this one. No, but you could present the lake photo. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. To the court. Because she's making a scene on this one. If you actually look at the photo, it's all foggy. Let's go. Got you. Got you, Miss Hurt. Finally. What? What? You got what? Look at this photograph. The photo I took? The very scene. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hurt. So? So? This picture was taken with a professional high quality film, correct? Yet, even it could not capture the faces of the men on that boat. Yet, you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? What? Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. Please. Yep, now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Ms. Hurt. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course, I said I could, and I meant I could. Then, please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. Now they found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. How Edgeworth was seen. You're right. It was a cool night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise down on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. You used binoculars? Very well. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one's... This one's gonna be good. Yeah. That's why I feel I'm on camera interrupting you all the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, don't press her like that. So, how could you see Edgeworth? Now, just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankee types never find a gal where you're on from. The fence attorneys have trouble with that as it is. <laughs> Nobody loves me. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, your camera? Yeah, I got. An, an automatic. The issue we are concerned here is Mr. Her seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. Objection sustained. It's not letting her answer any of my questions. Okay, so here's the third statement right here. I still I brought my binoculars with me, and that's when you want me to press on. On the third statement. You know, basically, yeah. Yeah. Because didn't she say she was looking for shooting stars yesterday? Binoculars? Like she needed a telescope for that. Yeah! Binoculars! Yesterday, you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars, for that? Ugh! I've got other doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of the meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for certain. Mm. Mr. Roy, is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. Yeah. But know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to push further about the camera? Yes, because yes, it's going to be do. vital, actually. 
This is make it or break it time. The camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Oh, maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well. Yes, sir. You will testify to the courtroom about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. The camera was set up to take pictures of a meteor shower. And this is where I can actually present something different. I'm not even gonna press on this one. Yeah, because wasn't it like too foggy for the camera to take a photo of the meteor shower? Actually, I'm also thinking of something different. Yeah, and with the that same one didn't you present? The monster said like what lake? What? Do like the lake photo. Why don't you do like the camera of the lake photo first against the same like with that statement, right? Because if she was taking pictures of the stairs, then why did she point the camera to the lake? Because she would have pointed the camera upwards. Actually, I don't know. And if you want to show let me, evidence, let me then you first. can do the Gordy article. Miss Hart, why made you choose that lake to photograph meteors? You know the fog gets thick on that lake. It's not very suited for to Sergei's. Yeah, well, you see, I... I guess I wasn't thinking too straight. Ha. Huh. Mr. Wright. I will not have you badgering my witness because of her challenged intellect. Oh, 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 oh. Now, wait a minute! Continue your testimony. You were saying how it was that you saw Edgeworth? Uh. No unnecessary comments, please. Okay. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. Yeah. The camera was set up to take pictures of a this meteor right shower. Here. Now we're going to present. Yeah. You see... On the lake. Oh, you mean this one right here? The overhead map? No. The pictures of the lake. That one here. The lake photo. Yes. Press on that. It's present, present you need call to do. it. Present! Present, Dan. Okay? You were photographing shooting stars? Well, that's a lie. Uh, says who? Take a look at this photograph. This was taken with an automatic setting, was it not? Yeah, that's right. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. But as this photograph clearly shows, the camera was pointed directly at the lake. Oof! You got her. It's the right. What are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Well then, what exactly was she ph photographing? Show evidence. Show this evidence. Your Honor, take a look at this. What Gordy photo. Was Miss Hurt trying to photograph the at the Gordy lake? Autograph. The Gordy autograph. The Gordy thingy there. Yeah, I know. Miss Hurt. This is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article. Gordy... Ah, uh, you said you like Gordy Lake. Well, Miss Hart? Uh, I ain't never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's say you proved that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Well, you have proof. Yeah, present I have proof. Present the article or, itself. Yeah, present the camera or Gordy's article. Proof. Hmm, intriguing. Very well, let's see it. No joking around this time, please. It's not good for my... Uh, her. I mean, what proof do you have that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy, the lake monster? Let me see. Set the admin cake for a loud noise detective. Faces the lake. And then in that. the article itself, a loud noise went off. Yeah, which triggered the camera. And according to the article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Right. Yeah, so... Ah. So I guess I'm gonna have to uh the camera if you wanted yeah. to. 
Or the Gordier Scope, but you could do the camera type thing. I'm gonna go with the camera with this one. Yeah, you could try, yeah. The proof, Miss Heard, is your own camera. Huh? Your camera should take uh, photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here was taken when a gun fired at, at the lake. Here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well? You were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had your camera set to respond to loud noises. Order! Order! I, I see. I do! Thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Huh. Well, Miss Hurt? You were camping there to try to take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Hey, streamer, cast Hydrate. Sure thing, kitty. Okay. Cast Hydrate? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, for hydrating. When well, you're talking about your voice, you get. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, come on. Thank you, kitty. Yeah. Not bad. Are all you lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. Well, you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove something more. That, that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Hey! But, as she sucking sucking suckingly said, so what? Certainly. <laughs> Changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. But what could have been Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. This hurt. Why don't you draw out the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. And I'm going to spot it. <laughs> 